Hello guys, as you can see, we are on our way to Nadiren Ga Defense War. The reason I got these short videos is because of the view. I was in love with it, so I decided to pull out my phone and do a short video whilst we are on our way to the defense war. As you can see, we are in our right. I like this, like the famous means for transport. It's called Yenu Yenu. It's very cheap and affordable. So, right now we are from Gambaga to the Nadiren where the defense war is located. As you can see, this is the Nalungu High School. Yeah, so guys, we finally made it to the Nalungu Defense War. We had to meet with one of the locals to tell us about the whole story about the Defense War. He then said that the Defense War was built in the year 1700 by a legendary Mampuzi king to defend the capital of Nalungu against its raiders. Now, during the reign from around 1740 to 1752. He was the son of Na Atabia, who was known for moving the chieftaincy from Gambaga to Narelu. We learned from the local that Na Jiringa started the massive project to build a wall around the western side of Narelu. The wall is said to have been 11 feet high, although now it remains 6 feet at its highest point. As you can see, we thought the wall was made purposely for slavery, but then the local told us that the wall was constructed for a purpose. It was constructed to defend the people of Nalulu against its raiders. But not only that, Na Ajenga built the wall for his name to be remembered because his only son he had had one eye and was therefore disqualified for being a skin. So the only way his name could be remembered is by building the wall. The last but not the least is a defense war against the slavery that happened in the year 18th century. So after all, I guess you are right. It was built to defend themselves against their raiders, which could be either ethnic group, slavery, their slave masters, the European, or whatsoever. In addition to the legend of the king lineage, there are some other mythical stories about the war. We learned that the wall was made out of mud, gravels, some claim that shea butter, honey, milk, and others claim that it was made with blood and bones of human beings. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the end of the video. Let me know what you think about the video in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe. We out.